Hey, what's up? Got my new Bedini running. Here's the schematic diagram. I'm going to give you a good picture of that. So you can go back to it and look over it. Make sure you see all the components and what I'm doing. Alright, I hope you can see that well. And the first step is my coil. 400 turns bifiller coil, two strands of wire, one is 22 gauge, one is 18 gauge. And you can see on the schematic there's my main transistor, there it is there. Most of the components are connected directly to the transistor, so there's less circuit area. Now, see this one here, I'm going to spin it, it runs off of this 9 volt battery, there's no other power source, under the table, it's just nothing, there's nothing under there, alright, okay, I'm going to turn it, not much going on, scope trace, nothing, a little faster, up. Uh, there we go. Okay, right now the Bedini just started because it it initialized the transistor at the cutoff level. So now the transistor is putting power back into this battery over here. And at the same time, it's running this wheel at exactly the same time. The charging voltage is way over this battery's capabilities, but it's pulsed so it doesn't damage the battery. This battery is non-rechargeable, but it's charging it at about 7 volts. And actually I can show you that. One second. you can see that. Watch what happens when I move the coil closer to the wheel. Six point four. And the wheel is moving faster. Hope you can see that. 6.7, 6, almost 6.8, it's steadily charging this battery, and here are my, my uh, meter leads, and I hope you can hear the motor turn it up, because it's getting a lot faster, because the Bedini coil is closer, of course I can't take any credit for it, because it's not my design, but I was just happy to build it. And it's just a wheel. It's got a neo magnet on it. Let me see if I can slow it down a little bit and show you how many. It just stops with your finger. Eight neo magnets at 65 pounds. Each magnet can pull 65 pounds. And I just restarted it again with my finger so you can see what's going on. Let me show you the schematic again. So you can see I actually deleted one one item over there, but I drew it on the circuit so you can copy it perfectly. And the scope trace. I want you to see that. This is charging that battery. Now if you look it's not moving that fast, I can slow it down. I turn it and move the coil closer until the scope spikes. Right there. That means it's now pushing the coil and charging this other battery over here.
this is saying that I'm at the level in which the transistor is turning on and off so that it will automatically push this coil. Now what good is that? Well, that's where these guys come in right here. This guy and this guy. Okay, this one, the small coil, same number of turns as that one, but when you move it close to this one and it's shorted out, it causes draw towards the magnets. In other words, it slows down the wheel because it draws full current because I've shorted it out right here. And it'll slow the wheel down. Well, we don't want that when we're trying to cause, create voltage for a generator. So we use this one. It puts out the exact same amount of power except it doesn't slow the wheel down. I'll show you. We're speeding it up now. I moved it a little closer. This coil is wider and longer, so the magnetic flux doesn't slow the wheel down, except it still gives you the same amount of power. Nikola Tesla did the same thing in one of his generators. You simply make the coil longer and wider, wider, wider vertically, not horizontally. It still has to fit the size of the magnet, but you take power from this coil, which is shorted out right there. It doesn't stop the, the motor from running. While this one, same amount of turns, just a little smaller. and it will slow the motor down because the magnetic flux density is higher ninety nine percent of the power from this battery is going into this battery and we're running this wheel at the same time. Can you hear it running? It's going a little closer. No matter how close I get it, 99% of the power is going back to that battery. And there's no heat. Nothing is heating up. Now, the most efficient place to adjust the current and voltage is the furthest point you can put this from the wheel and have it still turn. Still charging a little bit further away. Everything's still cold. The wheel's still turning. The next step will be adding the generator coils on the outside and putting out more power than the power going in so I'll talk to you later